In compliance with our regulatory requirements, we engage with key stakeholders within our area of influence. We engaged a total of 115 fishing communities with 6,000 canoes, 2,700 canoe owners and about 32,000 fishermen and fishmongers. Our engagement covers operational updates, canoe and fishermen safety around our offshore installation and supporting fishing communities. Impact Management Key impacts include disruption of fishing activities for operations such as takeoff and seismic surveys, avoidance of EZ and AZ increases travel time, damage to fishing equipment, traffic congestion, and safety as well as influx mainly in STMA. Mitigation measures include agribusiness in Pigri, vegetable and cassava production. 250 fishing households trained in this discipline average base income increment of 24% for fishermen and 32% for fishmongers. Other initiatives include community beach sanitation which trained 52 schools and provided them with hand washing facilities. Currently, we have an ongoing cleanest community beach challenge involving 27 fishing communities. STEM Education We developed a strategic intervention which supports the development of STEM right from kindergarten to the university. This intervention is well thought through to guarantee the holistic development of science, talent and skills relevant to the development of Ghana. Sustainable Kindergartens Building on the success achieved in six kindergartens constructed in six fishing communities to support early childhood education, Talu is building six more kindergartens to form the basics of our STEM strategy. The KGs make use of hands-on learning, which is the foundation for teaching and learning science. It also involves the training of teachers in new school management method and pedagogy. Our KG program has admitted and trained 7,220 children, trained 120 KG teachers and head teachers. In the next three years, we will build six additional KGs, which will train about 4,800 children, 111 teachers and head teachers in fishing communities in the Western region. Innovative to Educate Program this program aims to further nurture the interest of school people in science at the basic level after leaving kindergarten. Science teachers are being trained to make the teaching and learning of science more attractive to pupils. As part of the project, we have established a science resource center and mobile science workshop where pupils will have hands-on training and experiment in science. Science clubs will be formed and after-school homework support will be given to students at the junior high school level to engender higher pass rate and study of science at the senior high school level. Within the next three years, we are aiming to support about 2,000 basic school pupils and 80 science teachers in the Western region as part of this program. Ultimately. We aim to improve the performance of students in the core subjects of science and math at the BECE and WASI in the next three years by 50% in our area of influence in the Western region. Strategic STEM support at second cycle institutions. At the second cycle level, TALU is introducing some key measures to improve the teaching and learning of science. We refurbished science laboratories of notable science centers of excellence around the country, such as Mfansipim School, Archbishop Porter Girls Senior High School, Achimota School, Accra Academy, 
Prempe College, Half Asni Senior High School, and Nkrofu Senior High School. Our Innovative to Educate program continues to support senior high schools in the Western region. Through our Science Lab refurbishment, we have directly supported and improved access for modern science lab for up to 10,000 students and about 100 teachers. At Africa Science Academy, we are supporting the education of 40 brilliant but needy students to undertake A-level science courses over two years with ambition of preparing them for top universities around the world. STEM Scholarships our strategic STEM program from kindergarten through primary to senior high school culminates in STEM scholarship at tertiary institutions in the country. The scholarship scheme which replaces the just-ended Talo Group Scholarship Scheme seeks to provide bursary for needy but brilliant students to study engineering and other STEM-related courses at leading universities in the country such as University of Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and Ashasi University. Social Economic Investment Portfolio At KNUST and the University of Ghana Ligon, under the STEM scholarship, we awarded the first batch of scholarship for 2018-2019 academic year, of which scholarships for masters and degree programs in engineering were awarded. 25 students were awarded full and partial scholarship and an estimated 75 and 50 students, respectively, will benefit from the scholarship over the next four years. With our sustainable kindergarten, a total of 12 kindergarten will be constructed by 2020. Currently, eight have been fully constructed and two are expected to be completed by the end of this year. We have provided a safe learning environment for 1,300 children within a year. A total of 150 talented students from disadvantaged backgrounds are expected to be awarded scholarships at RTD for three years under the Discovering and Nurturing Role Model in STEM through sports. This also includes awarding scholarship to 12 to 15 students to study in international universities. 10 students have already been recruited for 2019-2020 academic year. Support to quality education free SHS. With strategic support to improve quality education in Ghana via government policy of free SHS, a total of 16 classroom blocks and dormitories will be constructed over the next five years. With ongoing procurement of consultants and contractors, this list is expected to be completed in conjunction with the Ministry of Education. STEM Graduate Employability Failed Ready JTTC, University of Ghana and UMAT are hosting the training of STEM graduates of which 30 graduates will be trained and placed for 2019 and 100 employable Ghanaian STEM technicians and operators will be employed by 2021. African Science Academy We wish to create a world-class center for excellence in STEM for women. Due to this, 80 selected young women from less privileged backgrounds have been awarded scholarships to study at ASA. Up to 50% received scholarships for top UK schools and 78% of students had A to B results in 2018 Cambridge mathematics exams. <music>